Hi everyone and welcome back to my creative workshops on my YouTube channel and today I am going to see if we can combine epoxy resin with pure cure this is my alternative to jasmineite I love this stuff it is 30 minutes to demold rock hard water-based and eco-friendly so I wanted to see today if I could combine the two of them so I've had to kind of like think of which products would be adaptable to such a technique and I've discovered that if I have one of these molds which I do I have two of these molds here um, there are ridges so when these molds are complete there is a little recess in between here so I was thinking we should do a base coat of resin and then fill the inlays with pure cure so let's see how this goes so for that obviously I'm going to need to make up some resin and I do have this mold here. It's just a little bonus I had from my previous videos when I made the bottle stoppers and the bottle openers. I had a little bit of uh, resin left over, so I just put them in one of these pop socket molds, filled them with a couple of flowers and a couple of gold bits and flakes. And now I just need to top that up. So if there's any leftover resin, I'll be using that for that. So in total, I will need four ounces. So I'm going to do two ounces of part A and then topping it up in the same cup to four ounces which will give me another two ounces of part B and then we'll need to mix this for three minutes so I fancy a little bit of glitz and glamour and some bling so I am going to add this champagne gold glitter into my resin I'm going to add quite a lot of it Mix it up and then I'm going to pour this straight into my molds. So I'm going to be using my fast curing machine so I'm going to place these on there. And before I do anything I'm actually just going to fill these in just to make sure that I have enough. These are going to be pretty stunning from the other side with all this glitter. I'm excited to see how these come out. And I did actually promise one to a friend of mine and I would love to change mine on my phone so these are for us. And of course by the way these really sell very well as well if you're interested in creating resin projects to sell at art fairs or just little pop-up shops etc so, got another tray here i'll add that to it and i'll put that in the curing machine in a minute so then with the rest of this let's just pour this in so i'm going to pour it in here first make sure i get this completely covered because this bit is the bits with the ridges in and with my spatula, I'm going to scrape across, backwards, forwards, up and down, make sure it's all in each of these little nooks and crannies. We want them all filled up. I'm also, just in case there's some air pockets there, I'm also just going to tap. And that will hopefully just fill up anywhere where there might be. A space I didn't see and then the same with this let's get this all nicely filled in you can see that over there there's a little air pocket so let's tap away in case there are anywhere that it didn't go in See that maybe there? No, it seems to be fine. Right, and then we can just fill these up. Same thing, make sure that the corners are filled in. I'm going to get this one back on here before it's too full to move around. I 
and then fill up the rest. And I'm going to cure this for two hours in my fast curing machine. And once again, all the products that I've used, I will create a Amazon storefront tab and you can find the specific products to this specific tutorial. So I've taken these out of the curing machine, they are fully cured, and if you want to see how the pop sockets came, I'm going to unmold them and you can have a little look. So that's for the pop sockets, and now let's unmold both of these moulds, and I think that the colour is perfect. It's a lovely glittery blinky. So I have 77 grams of the powder to 22, no, 23 grams of water for a total of 100 grams. So the idea is, is to fill in these little recesses with Pure Cure and see how it goes. Now I'm not quite sure what color to do. I think Pure White would look quite nice because the Pure Cure really, it's not an off-white like Jasmineite is. This is a really pure white. I think that might be nice. You could also tint it a colour, but I think just for test purposes, the little contrast will go nice and it will look quite elegant. So let's get with mixing. And again, I've got my little whisk. And I have my spatula. And I want to make sure this is really mixed together don't want any lumps in case there are any lumps hiding on these corners just use your stick or your spatula and push it in and that looks nice and clear and then keep going and once you're sure it's done we can pour so let's start with this one. So I'm going to go all over the top because it doesn't actually matter since we're going to just wipe this down before we leave it to dry. So I want it quite equal so I'm going to use my spatula again and flatten it out. And then I am going to tip any excess back into here. I'm going to get a wet wipe and wipe everywhere until it comes out clean. Another idea might be a Q-tip. Okay, on to number two. And here I'm trying to fill up without going over the edges. 
and that will make it easier to clean up. Give it a good clean up and let this dry for 30 minutes. And then just as it starts to set, a bit like when you do some grouting of tiles, just take a wet sponge and skim very gently across. Just very gently. And that will clean the surface. And here they are all done. And as you can see, I have this gorgeous mold. It's a very Moroccan style mold. And I've done exactly the same thing here. I've done the background in black with glitter. And then I filled it in with pure cure tinted with a nice bright aqua blue. I think they look stunning. And these I've given them a good clean up with just a little bit of water and cleaned the resin up and they're shiny. And I love the contrast of the two. I think they look really elegant. And last but not least, my pop socket. Well, it's on my phone case. So just in case you wanted to see what that looked like. And I actually have done a full tutorial on how to make pop sockets. And I'll leave that in the description under this video, as well as all the products that I've used. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll see you in my next video tutorial. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. Bye.